Hello, my name is Joshua Calloway and I'm Technical Project Manager for QuickLearn. QuickLearn is the world leader in .NET, SharePoint, and BizTalk server training and consulting. Our instructors have taught more developers and administrators how to successfully build and manage BizTalk Enterprise solutions than any other company in the world. We offer public and private training and mentoring solutions worldwide. For more information about our courses and to view additional tutorials, please visit quicklearn.com. In this demonstration, you will learn to configure the BizTalk Server eConnect adapter for Microsoft Dynamics. The purpose of this demonstration is not to show the complete features of Microsoft Dynamics, nor to demonstrate how to process Dynamics messages in BizTalk Server, but rather to show the integration point between Dynamics and BizTalk Server, specifically the eConnect Send adapter and its configuration. This demonstration uses two virtual PC environments, a server named Washington and a server named Dublin. The Dublin server has the BizTalk server runtime installed and includes the installation of the eConnect BizTalk adapter. The Washington server has SQL Server and Microsoft Dynamics installed and hosts the Dynamics and BizTalk databases. Microsoft Dynamics includes a large schema with many second level elements. Each of these elements contains many child elements, each of which corresponds to a database column. Essentially how Dynamics works is you send a message that includes the elements you require for a specific operation, and Dynamics inserts the data for the included elements in the appropriate database table. So here you can see the single master message schema that includes all the possible operations for Microsoft Dynamics. And here you can see the multiple child message schemas that define each individual operation. These schemas can be included in your BizTalk server projects to define how data might be transformed or processed before sending the data to Microsoft Dynamics. Dynamics also includes sample messages with data you can use as reference or for testing purposes. For this demonstration, we will use this RM salesperson create message as a test message for sending messages to Microsoft Dynamics. I've created a copy of the RM salesperson create message at the root of the C drive on the Dublin machine. As you can see, we've already created a BizTalk application named Dynamics on the Dublin server. Currently, the application does not have any send ports or receive ports. Also, you can see we've registered the Dynamics GP eConnect adapter, which is a one-way send adapter. The adapter is installed as part of the Dynamics runtime installation on the BizTalk server runtime machine. We'll start by creating a one-way receive port named Stuff for Dynamics. The receive port will contain a single receive location named Stuff for Dynamics file. For purposes of this demonstration, we're not necessarily interested in where these messages are being received from, so we'll use the file adapter configured to pick up all copy messages from the root of the C drive. After BizTalk has processed the message, the application will use a send port configured with the eConnect adapter to deliver messages to Microsoft Dynamics. Next, we'll create a BizTalk send port to send the processed messages to Microsoft Dynamics. We'll name the static one-way send port Send to Dynamics.
and naturally, we'll use the Dynamics GPE Connect adapter. For the send pipeline, there's no need to serialize or transform the message, so we'll just use the pass-through transmit. Notice that the configuration for the Dynamics GPE Connect adapter contains a single property, which is the connection string to the Microsoft Dynamics table to which the message should be posted. To make it easier to view, I've written the connection string in Notepad. BizTalk will use integrated security to connect to the TO database on the Washington server. The last thing we need to do to configure the send port is to create a filter for the appropriate messages. Again, in order to simplify for this demonstration, we'll configure a filter to subscribe to all messages received through the Stuff for Dynamics Receive port. Now that we've created a receive location and a send port configured to send messages to Dynamics, we're ready to start the BizTalk application. While the application is starting, let's take a look at Dynamics on the Washington server. For this demonstration, we will focus on salespeople in the sales department. As you can see, our company already includes several sample salespeople. We'll now modify the RM salesperson create message to add a new employee to the sales force. As you can see, we're going to insert a new salesperson named Josh Rivers into Territory 5. If we examine Dynamics, you'll notice there is no Josh Rivers currently listed. Because of the way our BizTalk application is set up, all we need to do is create a copy of this message at the root of the C drive, in which case, BizTalk will pick up the message and route it using the eConnect adapter to insert the information in Microsoft Dynamics. Notice that the message has been picked up for processing by BizTalk. Now if we refresh the Microsoft Dynamics on the Washington server, we'll notice that Josh Rivers has been added to the salesperson list. In this demonstration, you saw how to configure the Dynamics GPE Connect adapter for BizTalk server to insert information in the Dynamics database.